Hey guys, happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Yay! It's been eventful. Thanksgiving has a tendency to be emotionally just <laughs> every year, somehow. And this year, as I expected, would be no different. Probably because I expected it. Your thoughts are your actions. What happened was, my student loan people, like, they kept losing my file. And with student loans people, it's not like you can call them, correct the issue, and have everything back on track. It's, like, these people, like, you call them, address an issue. That issue takes, like, two weeks before things are back together. And then, like, something else would go wrong. So my student loan kept getting put off and put off and put off and eventually got put off past the deadline to register for fucking school so i'm sitting here just kind of going to my classes and not really in them not able to see any of the course information on the website just like i googled like their locations and like and literally just sitting in on these classes so that in hopes that i'll eventually be registered meanwhile in all these classes i'm missing quizzes blah 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 my new maximum high in physics is like a 92 instead of a 100, you know, things like that. So that's just been kind of casually stressing me out since school's begun. So I finally got enrolled in classes. I go sit down, I pull out my computer, getting ready to type, getting ready to take some mean notes because now I'm registered for classes and I can, I can fucking, I can be and learn and exist and when they call attendance I don't have to hide so I'm so excited to be in my first official class and I hear these two girls next to me and they're just like yo I don't know like is that do you think are you ready I don't know. so they're like huh, ready. I look over hi um Lewis hi ready for what <laughs> it's the midterm today you're sitting in in the midterm with doing an in-class midterm right now. And I looked at them and I, I, oh yeah, right, no, I knew, I'm, t I just thought you meant something else. This is the night of my nervous breakdown. This is how it begun. So I'm sitting there, like, trying to keep calm, but, like, every once in a while, like, a few tears will, like, fall. Then the prof gets there hands out the midterm and I start writing. It starts with like a dictate. It just means like he reads a story and we have to write it with perfect grammar. And that was fine. I did that perfectly. That was great. I was starting to think, yes, maybe I can do this. And then parts of speech. I don't know the names of all the times of the verbs and like, I don't know, I don't have those memorized because I didn't know there was a fucking midterm and all the parts where you need to memorize terms like adjective, qualificative, adverb. I don't, I didn't know which words were which. I didn't know. I eventually just gave up and handed it in. Then I started thinking about how I don't know what's going on in any of my classes and for all I know I could have an assignment worth 50% of my grade due tomorrow and I started freaking out and then it started spiraling and I started thinking about like how am I gonna handle catching up in school coming out to my family like starting hormones soon like, I can't I can't I started thinking about Asperger's being closed off from other people and these are things that like I have never worried about before like and I'm thinking about like is the love that I feel the same as the love that everyone else feels and like are the relationships I've built even real relationships or am I just trying to create them based on what I think a relationship should be like do I really just exist in my own head like what's going on I started freaking out like transitioning Asperger's school like my parents like Holy shit balls. And I had another midterm the next day in physics. And then I started crying, like on campus, just like, Shh. and people are just like, I was going to meet my friend to study for physics, but like he was at a bar and we were gonna meet at the library, but I asked him if I could meet him at the bar because I just wasn't ready to be in the silent library because I was just like sobbing maniacally. <laughs> Like, it was terrifying. So I'm, like, walking to the bar, and people are just like, who's this kid? While I'm walking, like, I see, like, 300,000 happy people. Like, I see Asian nerds, cool Asians, varsity jocks, unfriendly black hotties. Like, I see everyone who looks, like, perfectly happy and in place and comfortable and doing what their, like, day has brought to them. The sight of, like, someone buying their groceries just made me more upset. N every, like... Every person I saw, like, just was together, and I was just fucking falling apart. Of course, this wasn't, like, real. Like, I created this in my head. Like, obviously, everyone walking down the street doesn't have all their shit together, but, like, someone would be riding their bike, and the fact that they were capable of it, I was just like, you know everything! 
three of my friends were at the bar and like they kind of just talked me down for a while and eventually I calmed down went and studied my physics, realized that the world wasn't ending, realized that I didn't need to drop out of school, everything was good. I do want to say really quick that you have a nervous breakdown, like, don't think that it's something you can just get over in a night. I know that I made it seem like that, like the way I, I told the story, but I am talking to people right now and I am um, helping myself um, move to a less anxious place. Um, and I think that it's really important for me to mention that nervous breakdowns aren't funny. They are serious and like, don't think that you're a bother to someone if you need to talk about something like this. Like it is, it's real. It's not, you didn't make it up. So don't be afraid. You can even talk to me. Um, anyway, have a, have a good one.